Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to today's video. So for today's video I will be doing a what's new in my wardrobe. I have been doing a little bit of shopping over the past two weeks just to get myself prepared for the spring and summer season and also my upcoming holiday to Malta. So I'm really excited to show you everything I've picked up from Zara, Motel Rocks, ASOS and just a few random little bits of accessories. Let's get started. And I'm gonna start with the accessories first and then move on to clothes. So in terms of accessories, I feel like it can't be a haul without me showing you at least one pair of shoes. Um, but I actually quit my job at, I can actually tell you where I used to work, but I used to work at Office Shoes um, and I actually quit my job because I found a new job as a marketing assistant because I'm so happy. I'm really excited about the job. Um, but obviously that means I now will be working full time Monday to Friday, but yeah, anyways, I'm going off the point. Um, I yeah, I quit my job at Office Shoes, um, which meant that I was able to use abuse my last discount. So I treated myself to some shoes. So the first pair I got are the Dr. Martin's Blair sandals in the patent leather. I love these so much. I'm yet to wear them, but these shoes were so so popular last year, and I couldn't even get my hands on them because they were that popular. They've got like a really comfortable sole, the um, leathers are like really comfortable, soft as well. So even though it is a Dot Martin, you don't really have to break them in whatsoever because they're very, very soft. Um, I got these in a size four. I'm normally a size five in Dot Martins, but they do run really, really big. And I got them in the patent leather. I initially wanted them in the smooth, like soft leather, but they were sewed out everywhere and I couldn't get my hands on them. So I just went with the patent and I thought it still looks very cute. And I just love how chunky they are and I think they will definitely last me like more than a few seasons so I'm really excited about them obviously they are a little bit more on the pricey side they were £95 but then with discount I'm pretty sure I only paid like 50 something which is really good uh, but yeah I can't wait to wear them style them because I think they would look really cute even with dresses so then the next pair of shoes I picked up is a fresh pair of Air Force One shadows this time I got um, I just really wanted a fresh pair of white shoes for the summer and I thought going for the shadows would be a really good idea because some of them, they're a little bit different, they're really light as well. Um, and I just love like all the details that you can't even see in the sun. But they are really, really cool. Really happy with those. They were £110 but then with discount again. Um, they were like 70 something I think. Like £70. So again, you can't go wrong with a fresh pair of clean white Air Forces. And these are great because they're very light. But yeah, I'm going to link all of these down below. And I'm so sad that I'm going to have to start paying full price for my shoes. But that's that's how life goes. So the next item I've got to show you is this bag from the brand Ego. But I actually got this through a TikTok live shop. Which I said to myself that I'm never going to buy anything through it. But here I am showing you this bag. But it's so cute. It's obviously like a massive Balenciaga um, copy of the Le Cagol or Cagol bag. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's so cute. I love the green. Um, I think it will go with literally everything. It's still like a pop of colour, but it's still like a very neutral. And I haven't got any bags of this colour. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. It's got a cute little love heart mirror. It also comes with a, a little card hold holder, which is attached to the bag. But I actually took it off because I don't like how it looks. And overall, the quality of it is okay. I'm not like massively impressed with it. Um, just because the first time that I went to wear it out, the bag actually broke on me, which I was so annoyed. And I was gonna return it back, like send it back because it was faulty, but I didn't because I was too lazy and then I managed to get my dad to fix it. But basically this little like nubbin that actually holds the straps together fell apart. Um, so I just got my dad to pin it back together and he did a really good job and you can't tell anything was wrong with it but for a bag that was £35 you literally can't go wrong and yeah it's going to be a really cute summer bag but I'm really tempted to get more colours Um, really like the pink one and I really like the white one so mm, I don't know I'll think about it. Apologise but the lighting has changed the sun has gone back in in the clouds but moving on to Zara the first item I picked up from Zara is this stunning orange cropped little shirt that's got the long sleeves. I love this so so much. I'm yet to wear this but I think I'm going to save this for either like a holiday or for like a really um, warm night out. 
But this is so, so stunning. I'm picturing wearing this with either like a really pair of white flowy trousers um, or like a white skirt or even denim. Denim will look really nice with this. But I love the fact that you can wear this open or you can wear this like fully buttoned up. You can show some skin. Um, it's a really comfortable material. It is like a really soft satiny material. So it feels great on your skin. It would look amazing with like a really nice tan with some gold necklaces and I love the back of it the fact that it's like flowy and it's got this like um strap that kind of like holds it in place but the back of it is flowy it's just a great great shirt I got this in a size small and this was $29.99 so I picked up this silky satiny uh, little crop top it looks pretty basic from the front but the back of it is completely backless or it's got these strings and they kind of just tie up you can tie it around your waist and um, there's so many different ways they can tie this again this will look really cute with a pair of um jeans skirt um honestly so many options and it's very very wearable and they also have this in other colors i got this in a size small and it was 22.99 okay moving on i'm going to move on to motor rocks i love motor rocks you guys know that first item i picked up is this Stunning, again, you won't be able to see it as well, but it's this stunning ribbed sort of tang that's got this stunning like cut out detail, which I love so so much. It's so different, um, it's got functioning, actually functioning but buttons, so you can actually close the buttons if you want. And this is from the Olivia O'Neill collection, which I thought was incredible. And they actually have released this top in a khaki colour so I'm definitely going to pick this up as well because it's very very flattering I love like the cut out detail and the fit of it just in general I got this in size small it's great you can't go wrong with it it's a basic but again it goes with everything and you can layer this all seasons round next up I got this um long sleeve top and I'm obsessed with it it doesn't look as good on like in camera but I think it looks so much better when you actually style it in person it looks amazing I've had so many compliments on it it's just a really cool like very stretchy um wet feeling material I can't describe it but it's very comfortable very flattering and it's just a weird like combination of colors but I weirdly suit them and I got this in the size extra small and it fits literally like a glove and then from Motor Rocks I picked up this oversized blazer and when motor rocks tells you that something is oversized it really is oversized because i initially got this blazer in a size small it was huge and then when i tell you it was huge it literally felt like it was an extra extra large and then i picked up a size extra small that was still too big and then i ended up getting the smallest size possible which was an extra extra small which is still fairly big on me so if you're after a Oversized blazer, make sure you check out Motel Rocks because their blazers are effing huge, but they are so nice. Um, because this really reminded me of like the Jerf Avenue blazer, which is like £100, and I just love the great um color of it, it's very flattering. It also comes with a matching gray skirt, which I actually ended up ordering as well, but it was way too short on me, so I'm just going to exchange it for a bigger size. So I'll let you know when that arrives. And I love wearing this blazer with literally with my workwear stuff because to work I do have to wear sort of smart casual stuff. And also it looks really good with pretty casual with a hoodie and jeans and trainers. See it's very versatile and it's a great quality and it's got huge shoulder pads which I'm pretty sure you can cut out so if you don't like. So moving on to ASOS and the first item that I picked up was a pair of white cargoes that I got from Stradivarius. I got these in size 36 and I'm pretty sure they were $19.99 and I already have these cargoes in the green sort of like khaki colour and I'm obsessed with them. I wear them so so often so I thought I would invest in a white sort of like creamy pair because this is definitely more of like a sort of ecru colour um, that I still think they're great. They're such a good pair of trousers to have for the summer because they are sort of like a lightweight material and they fit incredible they literally fit like a glove around your bum it's incredible they're great and i also have them in so many more colors they have brown black um pink green orange yellow literally anything color you can think of they have them in 
the cargoes because they're literally so popular. The next item I picked up is a swimsuit sort of cover-up, uh, which is from the brand Messy Empire. I got this in the UK 8, and it's basically a very, like, holy, like, knitted, long sleeve, like, very short dress with, like, slits. It's got, like, one slit down the side. It's very flattering. Uh, but the best thing about this, about this is that it's gone open back. So it would be great for a summer holiday, even uh, for a festival, what I think would look really nice with some like chunky boots. Um, but I'm probably even just going to wear this on my summer holiday, even though it is like a knitted material, it is like a very lightweight like sort of material. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of just wearing this with like a really bright pink, or, like a very colourful bikini underneath so it just like pops out. Uh, and I'm hoping that I'm not going to get any weird lines with it and the last thing I picked up is my first bikini of the year um if I would treat myself so I ended up buying this stunning little leopard bikini from the brand South Beach and these are the bottoms obviously I'm not going to show you a try on the clip of this because that would be weird and um, but they are sort of like a high cut bikini bottoms they're so so cute, love the colour of this and love the actual leopard print pattern on it and um, that's the back of them. I got this in size 8 and they fit really really well. However, on the other side, the actual bikini top. So they have this different like styles of the bikini top that you can like mix and match from but I ended up going for like the underwire sort of more supportive uh, bikini top because I just wanted a little bit more support. Um, and I got this in the UK 8, which is like my usual bikini top size. And I kid you not, this cup is tiny. This is literally like a, a cup. So if you're thinking of getting this bikini, you need to size up 100% in this bikini top. It is still very cute. Um, so I'm just going to exchange it for a size 10 or even a size 12. I'm going to let you guys know what I think of the bigger sizes. Um, and if it is actually worth it because it's overall it was a really good quality uh, bikini top and you can adjust the straps but it's just a shame that the actual cup doesn't really cover much that was everything I picked up I feel like I just zoomed through this video really really fast but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway all the items I talked about in this video will be linked down below so make sure you check it out don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what other videos you would like to see from me and I will see you guys in the next video bye